<laughs> Deanna Jackson Durrett, who's the uh, uh, one of the new associate head coaches for Texas women's basketball. Deanna, we appreciate you joining us. Hope you'll uh, forgive us for the silliness there. We were talking about seven and classic American dishes that we don't eat anymore. But good to have you. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me on. And I eat sloppy joe. So oh, good. I- good. <laughs> that's, that's that's good stuff. Uh, first of all, bring us up to speed. Uh, I, as I've asked Coach Schaefer, and I asked uh, and I asked Coach Lovato, and uh, also uh, I, I I asked uh, 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 Blair Schaefer when she was on with us last week about this, and I and I asked Coach Harris as well. Uh, how has the transitional phase gone for you in trying to? uproot your life in the middle of a pandemic and and move it from Starkville, Mississippi to Austin, Texas. How has all of that gone so far? Um, <laughs> it's been kind of up and down. Uh, the pandemic and, you know, all of the chaos that kind of has happened surrounding it uh, has actually presented a blessing that I've got to spend a lot of time with my daughter, um, you know, in our business. We don't spend a lot of time at home, so uh, I've been able to spend a lot of time with my daughter, and it's been amazing. It's really been a blessing. Um, I just made it to Texas last week, so I'm super excited about that, and uh, it wasn't bad. I mean, packing through a pandemic and, um, you know, everything's been by phone, by Zoom. It's just it's presented a new challenge, and I love challenges. So um, it, it hasn't been as bad as I guess I thought it was going to be. And everybody at Texas have been, has been great. Uh, I like the way they do things at Texas. Um, you can tell the camaraderie between, you know, amongst the athletic department. So the transition has been, it's been great for me. I, I would imagine uh, when we've talked about uh, you know uh, getting getting used to things, uh, uh, Austin, Texas is quite a bit different, obviously, than than Starkville, Mississippi. But but was it uh, part of the, the challenge also? Uh, how did uh, how well did the challenge go of locating and finding a, a place for you to live and where you wanted to be there? Um, so, like when I set my mind to something, I'm really get focused in on it. So the one time we came down about a month and a half ago, um, we came to look at places and I kind of had a little bit of a hard time, but at the end of the day, I found the place that I'm in now and it's beautiful. I love it. I'm leasing right now. Um, so, uh, it was just a great find. Uh, I live in Eastern park and the community is really nice. So even though on the front end, it was a little hard for me, you know, to find a place they they were gone so fast. Um, by the end of the trip, I found a place and signed a lease, and I'm good. Coach, when, when you talk about uh, on the court, uh, the point guard position, you played at a high level, you've coached at a high level. When you and Coach Schaefer sit down and, and really figure out what you want, and from a recruiting standpoint, what you want from that position, but also when you get into uh, developing players when they get on campus, what you need out of that position. Kind of kind of give me your, your checklist for what you uh, a good point guard needs to have to be able to, to succeed playing for you and Coach Schaefer. Um, so the first thing that I would say is just being coachable. Um, because you are the reflection of Coach Schaefer, you know, on the floor, you have to have, you know, this kind of insight into what he wants and what he's needing uh, for the team to get accomplished. And in order to do that, in order to be on the same page with him, you have to be coachable. You have to take instruction. You have to um, – you just have to be able to be coachable, look Coach Schaefer in the eye, you know, taking everything he's saying, what I'm saying, and um, and not take it how it's said. Because in the heat of the moment, if you take it how it's said, you're going to miss what's said. And so um, that's the first thing we look for. Can you be coached hard? You know, can you be co- coached with intensity? So, you know, that's that's the one thing. And it takes mental toughness to do that. And so that's the second thing that I would say that we really look for is the toughness that you have. So are you mentally tough? Physically are you tough? You know, are, it's, it's pain and leadership. Um, you know, a lot of us figured that out <laughs> with watching The Last Dance, right? It's pain and leadership. You know, everybody's not going to like you every day, and you can't please everybody. 
So as a point guard, are you going to be able to lead this team and be tough enough, mentally tough enough to do it? Um, so those are the kind of things we look for. And sometimes in recruiting, it's hard to kind of see it, um, you know, with some of these young players. Like, do they have that? But if you spot it, that's going, that's the makings of a great point guard. If you spot it while they're young, I think that's the makings of somebody really special. I would imagine also, Diana, that when you, you can spot it, certainly a lot easier in a uh, grad transfer than an incoming freshman or even even someone that you're inheriting with the program. Would it be safe to say that you see that in Kyra Lambert, who is uh, obviously a grad transfer and coming in from Duke, that you, you can see the elements that you're talking about there from what you need from a point guard? Yes, and talking to her, um, you know, what I love about her is her maturity level. You know, Kai is just someone who's, like, she wants to be good. You know, she, that coachability that I was talking about, you know, I can't, I haven't even been face-to-face with her. But the way she listens and her desire to, you know, just get better, I can tell. Um, And I, I really like that about Kai, and I don't, think you know her physical toughness is far off um i just we need that you know you come into a new program and um you know you need some stability and some toughness in that that point guard position and the maturity level and her being able to handle you know what what's actually being said and not how it's said is i think there's going to be a great quality of hers Coach, I know you can't talk about student-athletes that are, are being recruited right now, but uh, how nice has it been to, to get into this job and see the the momentum and the excitement that you guys have been able to to create on the recruiting trails, especially in the state of Texas so far? Um, It's great. <laughs> it's great. Recruiting is, you know, that's, that's the bloodline to any program and the attraction, the excitement, you know, about our staff, about the program, about the city, the university um, has been, I mean, a 10, really, like, you know, the amount of phone calls you get, um, you know, the interest that you get, and it's a combination of all of that. And so it's exciting to have, and, you know, we work hard already, you know, as a staff. So uh, it's just exciting to add that to it. You know, Deanna, I asked you about uh, Kyra, and the other the other thing in talking with Coach Schaefer, he he mentioned how familiar you guys were uh, with Celeste Taylor, and said, "Yeah, we recruited, we talked to her a little bit about it, and she's somebody who could who could if we needed to swing her into there." And he said, "And I asked her uh, how she felt about that, and she said, Coach, whatever you need me to do, I'm I'm there to do.' I mean, that that's always refreshing for a coach to hear, and and especially in in your case for a, a position coach to hear that hey, you've got somebody else, another resource." there that you might have the opportunity to be able to plug in in a situation like that? Oh, yes, absolutely. You know, uh, that's how winners talk, right? I I just want to win. So whatever I have to do, you know, to win, to get better um, for my team, for my coaches, I'm going to do. You know, that's how that's how winners talk. That's how they get it done. You know, they're not um, afraid of the challenge. They're not – you know, Celeste, she's such a hard worker. And uh, I think she's such a competitor that at the end of the day, she wants to compete and she wants to win. So she's going to do, you know, whatever we need for her to do. And as a position coach, I, I love it. You know, we also have Joanne Allen Taylor, who mm-hmm. can, you know, play the point guard position. And I think I've said this about her before. Man, that kid is tough. She is tough and you know, we recruited her when we were at Mississippi State. And to me, I, I think Joanne is a bucket. Like, I think she can score at all three levels. Um, and I just think that toughness that we like at the point guard position and the competitiveness, I think she has. And, you know, it's just about kind of um, cultivating that in her, our style, our way. Um, so. Deanna jackson Durrett, the associate head coach for Texas women's basketball, joining us here on uh, the Horn. Hey, you know, Deanna, for folks who don't remember, because I remember, I, I just finished my 22nd year calling the play-by-play for Texas women's basketball. I remember a tough guard playing for Sherry Cole at Oklahoma. So uh, I, I remember when you were playing uh, back then uh, and part of a Final Four team, how much uh, of your playing time and playing for Coach Cole 
did you take in in mold into the type of coach you have become? Oh, a lot of it. <laughs> um, you know, I was blessed to come into a program that had six seniors, you know, that were competitive and knew what they wanted. And so as a freshman to be, you know, around that kind of leadership and those players, not only Coach Cole, but those players kind of developing you as a freshman, um, it was, it, it, I mean, for me, it was a blessing. It was, it made my, what I had to do easy. Then, you know, Coach Cole challenged me my last three years uh, at Oklahoma to be that for other people. And so that's what I kind of take, you know, with the coaching. Um, I take that same mentality. How can I impact these players so they can impact someone else? Um I'm a little intense. <laughs> I'm a little in- intense in how I coach. You know, I'm I'm very demanding. Um, and I think I said before, like, I have to – I had to learn how to have a loving hand, you know, with my demand. And I think that just comes with, you know, the more you coach, you start figuring things out. And so um, I take a lot of what I learned at Oklahoma and how tough I had to be and the type of leader that I had to be. And I apply it a lot of how I coach now. Coach, uh, you know, given your time at OU and, and when you were uh, there, the, the rivalry on the court was pretty intense. Not that it, it's never not intense, but uh, the back and forth, there was two programs doing it at a really high level. Uh, ha- has there been any issue with, with, with the horns going up for you after, after they were going <laughs> down for so long? <laughs> great question, great question. Um, no, it's, it's, you know, uh, Oklahoma is my alma mater, and I love Oklahoma. And you know, I am a Sooner. Um, it's just that's the program that I was raised in. That's where I got my education, and I had some great times. This is a different. You know, it's I'm on a professional level, and no, I don't have a problem turning horns. So. <laughs> now, do my friends have a problem with me turning horns up? Maybe, <laughs> maybe, but. Um, you know, it's okay. I think Texas is a, a great institution, uh, you know, academic and athletic-wise, and the eliteness that is here um, as a competitor, as a basketball player, I love it, you know. so Deanna, I would imagine that if Coach Schaefer can quickly flip from from saying praise the Lord and, and go dogs to praise the Lord and hook them horns, you could you could ride along with yeah. that, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Hey, Deanna, we appreciate you taking the time to join us and look forward to visiting with you, look forward to working with you, look forward to the coming basketball season for Texas women's basketball. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you for having me on. I really appreciate it. You bet. All right. That's uh, Deanna Jackson-Durrett, the uh, associate head coach for Texas women's basketball.